Hello 10th graders, how are you doing today? I want you to know that my hope is to educate you the best way to unlearn physics, okay? So your success is also important to me. Please try to follow your videos, uploaded videos, and try to come live classes, please. Okay, so today's um, subject, we have a uh, section 2 on page 37. Phases of matter and forces among their molecules, which is about some problem. Okay. Here our problem. So, sample problem 2.8. Okay, so please stay with me, okay? which the question is estimate the distance between two atoms of copper knowing that a smaller mass which is mm is 0 0.64 kilogram and its density is 8000 kilogram per meter cubic Assume that Avogadro's number is 6.02 times 10 power 23 mole power negative 1. Okay, student. What we have, okay? Try to know what we have and what we have to find it, okay? So estimate the distance. That means find the distance between two atoms. Okay, here, estimate the distance, meaning that you have to find the distance. Which distance is L, okay? Atomic distance, it is unknown. The known, we have a molar mass, and also we have a density, and also we have Avogadro's number. Okay, student, I told you last lesson that you have to keep the formulas, okay? The three important formulas for this section, which is Vm, molar volume, and also V, and also L. Okay, first day. You have to find molar volume. It's not easy to find uh, distance. I mean, before, you have to know what we have. We have to find some other, you know, things like molar volume, and then we have to find, like, um, mass volume and then we have to find v which is volume and also at the end we have to find the distance between two atoms so here we have molar mass and density Avogadro's number by using this we can find the uh, distance here first formula which vn volar i mean uh, sorry Molar volume equals a ma a molar mass over density. As we have a molar mass, put it here. And also we have a density, we have to put it here. And here we have to find V by dividing molar mass divided by density. We will find the volume mass, uh, molar volume here will equal to 8.0 times 10 power negative 29 meter cubic over mole. Okay, student, that was first step. Second step, find V. Okay, find V, which is volume. Here we have an Avogadro's number, put it here, and also we have molar mass, put it here. So easy. Divide. It's just divided by using calculator. You will divide it, a molar volume by Avogadro's number, and then your volume 
equals 1.33 times 10 power negative 29 meter cubic. Okay, student. And here, okay, student, in the third step, find L, which is distance. So put V here under cubic root. L equals the third root of 1.33 times 10 power negative 29 meter cubic. This goes with this and then you will take them uh, by using calculator. We will find L which is 2.37 times 10 power negative 10 meter. So we have here sample problem 2a. The molar mass of sodium is, which this is mm, molar mass. What is, what is its molar volume, which is vm, okay? Knowing that its density 0 0.71 at temperature of 300 Kelvin. You don't need have you don't need to use this temperature. It's just you know, uh, just for information or something like that. We don't need it to use it, okay? So, but here says that we have to find molar mass. So easy. We have a molar volume and then we have a density. We will find molar mass. So this is our given numbers, and this is the unknown, okay? So student, this is the solution of the sample problem. Vm equals mm over rho, which rho is density. And mm, molar mass, and we have to find molar volume. Just we have to divide it by molar, molar mass by density. So when we divide it, grams goes with gram, just we have to put Centimeter cubic. So you will you will use your calculator 22.98 divided by 0.71. Okay, student, try this please. Okay, on page 45, practical problem 14 and 15. Please try to solve them. And good luck.